Now that we have your papers painted, we did the background with the gift cards, we're ready for the stenciling. We have lots of different paints and stencils available to you. Your paints will be in the little bottles. This paint is a little bit thicker than the last one we used, so they work better for stenciling. You'll have a piece of wax paper for your table. And as you see, I've taken a little bit of paint right here. When you take the paint, please take a very small amount because it doesn't take very much to do this. About the size of the dime or less will be perfect for what we're gonna do. You'll be using the makeup sponges that are located by the sink. When you're done with these, if you would rinse them out really good and wring them out, when you put them back in the basket, it'll be ready for the next class to use. I'm gonna set my paint to the side. I'm gonna show you some of the stamps we have available. When you do the stamping, if you put your sponge in the paint, and then on this side, I'm kind of dabbing it off because you don't want a lot of paint on there. If you have a lot of paint, it won't work too well. For the cup, I'm just gonna stamp on the ring. And I can do what's called a ghost print with any of these. So after I do my initial stamp, when I keep stamping and get a little bit, that varies the texture and it's called a ghost print. I'm gonna use the same color just for, uh, actually I'm gonna switch. For, the, um, for this, I'm gonna use the same colors just because it'll be easier and faster. We have sequin waste, and it's actually the piece of material that's left after sequins are made for dresses. This is a leftover, and they sell it in large strips. Uh, floral departments use it. Sometimes it's called punchnella. So I'm dabbing this off again, and very, very lightly. It doesn't take much at all. Lightly dab that on there, and you can go around in different areas. And I'm still using the same paint that was on there. Actually, this works really well when there's hardly any paint at all, and you can move around. Sometimes you can flip it over and get the reverse. You could use a brayer, or you can just use your hand too. You kind of get the reverse there. Those are kind of fun. I also have this that's used for weaving. All of these items you're gonna stamp on. Like that, we'll move over here. Okay, different textures on there. I have some handmade stamps, same type of thing. I'm gonna switch back over to the blue. Okay, just a small amount of paint again, about the size of a dime. I'm gonna put some on here and then dab it off to the side. So feel free to switch stencils, grab a few stencils for your table. Things like the sequin waste, and this little guy, the weaving piece, and another one I'm gonna show you. We have lots of those, so go ahead and take a few for your table. Have those stamped on there. And the cardboard piece. Cardboard, you're gonna stamp right on there, and it's gonna have lines, so that's kinda of fun. You can move around through your different papers, depending on what color you have. Some colors will show up better than others, so try it out. And maybe you stamp on one and that color's not working. You don't have to keep doing it. You could switch to something else. Anything we've painted can be stamped. So I could do my cover, I can do the other side of the cover, and any of these extra painted pages. I also have bubble wrap. If you have a question about any of the stencils, you can ask. So that'll be like groups of crinkly circles. And a stamp roller. This one, if you would stamp the paint on and not just roll it through the paint, that way we don't have to clean them up as much. You could do a little spot, skip it, do a little spot. So when you do them, it'll have just like a little chunk in the middle there. So that's kind of fun. Ooh, watch your paint. Okay. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Have fun.